Good morning. All right, which one today? Today I think we're gonna I think we're gonna take we're gonna take the Tacoma out, but we gotta move we gotta move the tundra. So let's head out. Take care of that here. Take the long walk here. And to do that, of course, let's see, I'm gonna hit that. Dark out here. To do that, we gotta move the tundra out, and then we gotta take the Tacoma down. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Hey, like I said, we gotta do a little vehicle rearranging today to be able to do what we need to do. So, we're gonna get the tundra back out of here and the Tacoma down, and uh, Go out for a little bit of a ride. Got to run a couple errands and do some stuff. that let's take a little look I haven't had the Barcelona red Tacoma on the channel for a little while now and that's because it's just kind of sitting and waiting for um, the new truck it's waiting to be traded but it looks pretty good a little dusty still looks awesome still love the truck looking forward to hopping in here it's been a while since I've taken this truck out so let's get going. No side steps. A little bit of a step up in here. Got to use the steering wheel. Ah, there we go. Let's get you guys up there so I can see what you see. All right. Start her up. A little cold start action there. All right, we're gonna go for a little ride. I haven't been in this truck for, man, I don't know. It's probably been, I'll bet you it's been a couple of weeks. So I miss it. Um, it is a lot different. It's funny when you go from the Tundra out there, you see it's resting out there, into the Tacoma. There is a, there is a decent amount of uh, difference between the two. You can feel it when you get in the seat, right? But let's get going. Okay, first stop on our uh, long-awaited Tacoma Drive. We gotta stop at Lowe's. Discovered uh, last night, actually, that our house doesn't have any smoke alarms. Lived there for like a year and three months or something and never realized that. Nice blue tundra there. Check it out. Got to get the perfect park. There we go.
smoke detectors. We don't need carbon monoxide because we don't burn gas. So, I thought these things were cheaper. Look at that. 20 to some amount, 16. We just need cheapo smoke alarms. First alerts. I think we'll go with these. touch entry. You see, when you're walking out to your Tacoma and you got stuff in one hand and a camera in the other, which I know everybody else does as well, you need to be able to just touch the doorknob and or handle rather and have the door unlocked. Rather than with the Tundra, I would have had to put the camera down, reach in my pocket, grab the keys. It's just much more convenient. Anyway, we're done with our Lowe's trip. Let me show you here. I did go with a cheaper one because you know when uh, when your life is at stake, go cheap. Um, so I got these. It's a two pack, nine dollars and ninety eight cents or something like that uh, for two. So I needed four. So I spent like twenty bucks, uh, something like that, maybe thirty. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I end up getting a Lowe's. So now we're gonna we're gonna head down the road. Uh, I do have to run by the post office, probably won't film that, I've done that a million times, but we're going to head that way next. Got the post office done, now we're just out going for a little cruise. Um, what's the point of today's video? Well, I want to talk about the 2020 that I have coming a little bit. Um, you know, I get all kinds of comments, why didn't you go out and get another one? Why didn't you fly off somewhere and pick one up? You know, I kind of wanted to show the whole ordering buying experience right i mean i could have bought a ticket flown out somewhere i guess picked one up drove it back but where's the fun in that this is what it's really like um to buy and order a tacoma these days at least one that's a little special i guess because it's a manual transmission so that's kind of why you know i wanted to give you guys the the real story and I know it's dragged on it's been since September but it is coming uh, most recently um, I gave a little update on the channel to you guys and let's see if I get my turn here and the 2020 is supposed to be here February 7th plus or minus and I know until you have a, a permanent VIN number assigned which I don't yet um, it can fluctuate either way and, and I knew this and that's the other thing I'll, I'll address I guess is that you know when I went into this I knew how long it was going to take right I mean this isn't like it was a secret to me you know the dealership told me that it could be you know three four five months so it's not like they did something wrong or they were trying to deceive me or something I mean I've known this all along and I've said that on the channel that you know, I knew what the lead time was going to be, that I was informed of that up front. So, no big surprises there. But, still, I mean, like anybody that's, you know, getting a new vehicle, I can't wait to have it. Um, it's driving me nuts having to wait for it. Um, I'm not driving the, the current Tacoma as much because a couple of reasons, you know. I, one, I don't want a chance anything happening to it. I mean, it is an asset. Um, for me, particularly now, since I am going to trade it in on the new one. And obviously, I want it to be worth as much as, uh, as possible uh, when I trade it off, right? So I have another vehicle. Of course, that's the Tundra to drive. So there's really no reason for me to be out driving this around, given what I'm going to do with it. Um, and the other thing is I want to keep the miles down. Right now, this truck has an almost embarrassing 1,746 miles on it. I know it's not a ton of miles. There's certainly going to be more on uh, on the new Tacoma. I'm going to use that as a daily driver. The Tacoma is going to kind of be my weekend slash travel car, if you will. We're going to be taking a, a cross-country trip here in, uh, in a few months uh, for my daughter's wedding, actually. And I haven't decided yet which which truck I'm going to take, whether I'll take the, the Tundra or the Tacoma. Um, I think for channel purposes, it would make more sense to take the Tacoma, but uh, but for comfort, 
and wife purposes, it would make more sense to take the Tundra. So I'm still up in the air on that. We shall see. But I have lots of mods and stuff. You know, another question I got recently during, I think it was during the live stream, was uh, am I just going to do the same thing with the next truck? You know, am I just going to throw those same mods on there and everything? I am not going to. I'm not gonna do the same exact mods. There will be some mods that are the same because there are some things that I like, right? I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the things on the truck that I like. Um, and I've also mentioned that part of my reason in doing some of the same mods is to see if there's any changes between the previous model years and the 2020 Tacoma. I do have new mods, I've mentioned this. I have new mods sitting in the garage waiting. Um, I have a pretty big one and a pretty substantial mod uh, to the truck, I think, um, both functionally and aesthetically. Now, not functionally to the truck per se, but functionally if you need to use it. I'm not going to give that away on here. You'll have to, you'll have to stay tuned and see what that is. Um, just wanted to kind of bring you guys with me today, give you a little bit of an update, get back in the Tacoma. Like I say, I haven't driven this truck for probably. Oh, I'll bet you a couple of weeks now. It feels great. I love driving the truck, and I cannot wait to experience the manual transmission in this truck. It should be arson. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my plans, my plans for the new 2020 that's coming, and, uh, and what you guys might like to see in it as far as mods and things like that go. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a great day. Bye.